Not too long ago, AMD was the undisputed king of the hill with its Ryzen 5000 series, beating out Intel's 11th generation Rocket Lake processors in terms of efficiency and performance by a large margin. Today, how the tables have turned, with Intel's 12th generation Alder Lake processors taking the performance crown from AMD with a stunning return to form. Exciting times indeed for consumers looking to build a new PC. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Tough Gaming Z690 Plus Wi-Fi D4 from ASUS, which sports the top-of-the-range Z690 chipset, which was released alongside Intel's 12th generation processor offerings. Sporting support for DDR4 instead of DDR5, should this be a motherboard to consider if you're looking to build a 12th gen rig? Watch on to find out more. Before we do that, shout out to my friends from Mansa Computers who have kindly loaned me this board for this video. Do check them out if you're on the lookout for a custom built PC solution in Singapore. With that, let's get started with the packaging and features of this board. Being from the Tough Gaming lineup, the packaging doesn't deviate much from the rest of its brethren, and I personally like how it doesn't look too tacky with crazy graphics and that sort of thing which you tend to get with gaming boards nowadays. Moving over to the rear, some key features to highlight include support for the latest PCIe 5.0 standard, built-in Intel Wi-Fi 6 and Intel 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet, as well as a better Realtek audio codec with Nichicon audio caps. Moving on to the contents of the box, let's first get the board out of the way. We can see that the board doesn't come with that much in terms of accessories, but let's get started. We have a pack of two sets of SATA 3 cables, M2 drive standoffs and screws, as well as some M2 drive pads which are to be used to add additional height clearance for you folks out there with single-sided M2 SSDs. The board also comes with the usual slew of manuals and guides, which includes a DVD driver disc as well and a certificate of reliability which assures you that the board is made of tough stuff, pun intended. Well, ASUS has also included a sheet of tough gaming stickers which I suppose is a nice touch. Now this being a board with Wi-Fi, ASUS has also included a Wi-Fi antenna together with the packaging and here it is. As you can see, yes, it has a magnetic base which is useful especially if you like to attach it to the top of your PC case. Onto the board itself, the black PCB with grey patterns lends some visual interest to the board and this is accompanied by large black heat sinks for the VRMs as well as the M2 slots. For power delivery, the board guns for a 14 plus 1 configuration that can handle even the top of the line Core i9-12900K with ease. It's great to see that ASUS has gone with an integrated IO shield design that contributes to the overall appearance of the board. The Z690 Plus also comes with a smattering of RGB LEDs built into the board beneath the chipset heatsink here and in these two regions as well. In the memory department, the Z690 Plus comes with four DDR4 slots in a single tab design with support for up to 128GB of RAM and the DDR4-5333 standard. Again, this board stands out as it pairs DDR4 support with Alder Lake, which depending on how you look at it, could be a good thing especially given the sky-high prices and lack of availability for DDR5 modules as of December 2021. Next to the RAM slots are debug LEDs that allow you to troubleshoot boot issues and beneath them is a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C front panel connector and a USB 3.2 Gen 1 front panel header. For storage, the board comes with 4 SATA 3 ports and a whopping 4 M2 slots that support the PCIe 4.0 X4 standard. The first slot is located here, the second one over here, and we have two right beneath this heatsink over here. For expansion slots, the Z690 Plus comes with a single PCIe 5.0 X16 slot, two PCIe 3.0 X1 slots, a PCIe 3.0 X4 slot and this is rounded up by a PCIe 3.0 X16 full length slot. Audio for this board is powered by the slightly higher end Realtek ALC1220 codec which is hidden beneath this tough gaming motif and this is backed by caps from Nishikon. I would say that this should probably serve the audio needs of most folks out there. 
Internet connectivity-wise, the board has 2.5 gigabit Ethernet courtesy of Intel's i225V, and this is rounded off with Wi-Fi connectivity provided by Intel's AX201 Wi-Fi 6 solution. Onboard fan connectors are in no short supply, with 7 connectors located in these areas of the board. RGB junkies will also most certainly be pleased with the 3 addressable RGB headers and a single 12 volt RGB header provided with the board in these locations. While the board does not come with built-in Thunderbolt 4 ports, it does have a Thunderbolt header here that allows you to hook up a Thunderbolt 4 add-on card that is sold separately by ASUS. Moving over to the I.O. department, the Tough Gaming Z690 Plus comes with a DisplayPort 1.4 connector and a HDMI 2.1 connector. It also includes 4 USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2 Type-C port right here, a 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet port, 2 USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C port, Wi-Fi antennae connectors, and the usual audio jack connectors. With that, the ASUS TUF Gaming Z690 Plus Wi-Fi D4 seems to be a very compelling option at around US$290 from Newegg as of December 2021, where it sits at the lower end of the price range for boards powered by the Z690 chipset. Coupled with the fact that it uses DDR4 instead of the significantly pricier DDR5, this could represent good value for someone looking to get in on the Elder Lake bandwagon without breaking the bank. While there might be some performance trade-offs with using DDR4, I'd like to think that the difference should be negligible to most end users out there. With a solid power delivery solution, PCIe 5.0 support, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet and Wi-Fi 6 as standard, I think that this board represents some solid value at this price point. With that, thank you so much for watching, do like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and I hope to catch you guys around next time.